Hey lovely people, welcome to my channel, Care by Susie. This channel is all about women's empowerment for mature ladies 40 years old and above. And we discuss all things pertaining to being the best versions of ourselves. In this video, you will learn how to make a man miss you. Seven powerful steps provided by Dr. Antonio Borello. I'm Dr. Antonio Borello and I'm a psychologist and a relationship coach. This channel is all about helping you build great relationships so you can grow happy together. Why Dr. Antonio Borello? Because he's not only a renowned relationship coach, he's also a psychologist. If you're going through a situation like you're in a relationship or just starting to date a guy and he seemingly invested so much time in the beginning to try to win you and now suddenly he that he succeeds, he cuts the chase, he's not texting as much as before or spend as much time as before and you're getting a little worried, then stay right till the end of this video. Some of the reasons that you might want to make this man miss you could be he's not as affectionate as he used to be, he stops prioritizing you, or he just stops making plans with you. All these make you worry that he doesn't love you like he used to. Well, the thing is, these issues are really common in a relationship, but fixing them is counterintuitive. So if you resonate with this situation and keen on fixing them, you have to listen to Dr. Borello's seven powerful steps and important is that you do them in order and do not skip any of the steps. But if you like this video, please help us to subscribe to both our channels, Dr. Antonio Borello and Care by Susie, so that I can bring you more of these amazing contents in future. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So when you feel that your boyfriend is slipping away, it is a very scary position to be in. It is rather natural for you to feel insecure and want to seek reassurance and it's even more natural that you want to talk about the problem and try to fix it. But if you're watching this video, chances are you have already tried talking to him and somehow hasn't worked. So if talking to him hasn't worked, continuing to show your disappointment and complaint might just only push him further away. According to Dr. Antonio Borello, the first thing that you must embark on is this. I want you to let go of your anger and stop trying to fix the problem. That means that you must not bring this topic up again, at least not yet. I know it's not easy to do, but you have to trust the process. So despite how you're feeling, you must not let him know that you are upset or sad or worried and you kind of have to fake it till you make it and in the meantime, you're going to implement these steps. On to step two. Step two. Create some space by not initiating communications. Now, if you're in this situation, I imagine that for the most part, you've been the one reaching out to him by texting or calling. You are the one who has been texting or calling first. Perhaps you worry that if you don't reach out, if you don't contact him, he's not going to do it. And so you text and call him instead. But if you want a man to really miss you, you must create some space and distance for him to feel your absence. You need to lean back a little and allow him to miss you. So. Do not initiate calls or texts to him. Notice I didn't say ignore him or stop communicating. I'm saying stop being the one that is always looking for him and starting communications. You can't chase or pursue him. He's a man and he has to put in the effort and pursue you. So starting right now, you're not going to be starting the day by texting him good morning. You're not the one who is going to be restarting a text conversation that has went silent. Instead, let him do it. I know it's not an easy thing to do, but trust me, he will quickly recognize the difference and he'll start to wonder why you've suddenly gone silent on him. So let him feel a little down and realize that he was happier when things were different. Your silence will speak volumes and he will usually initiate contact again pretty quickly. Oh, and make him wait before you return his calls and texts. Taking some time before responding to his communication sends the message that you are busy and not just sitting by your phone waiting for him to reach out. So have patience and take your time before responding. Doing so will certainly increase his yearning for you. I promise within hours or days, he's going to be the one missing you and appreciating you and he will bring it up. But, and this is very important, you must refrain from having that discussion until the time is right. 
I know that you badly want to talk about it with him, but you've got to have all the steps in place first. And of course, I'm going to explain exactly what to say when you have the discussion. Number three, prioritize your life and put yourself first. That means that you cannot continue to make him your first priority. Instead, make sure you are keeping up with the life you had prior to meeting him. Be yourself and make yourself a priority. Make and keep plans with your girlfriends and keep your schedule busy. This goes a long way towards helping him to see you as a high value woman with an exciting life. Remember, one of the most important things that men find attractive in women is independence. He's got to know how full and complete your life is. And if he's part of your life, it's because you want him to be part of it, not because you absolutely need him to be part of it. Oh, and I'm not suggesting that you play games or hide behind the phone. Really go out with your friends and have fun again, away from your man. And don't break your plans with your friends for his last minute requests. Remember, being unavailable some of the time is going to make you feel better while driving him a little bit crazy. Saying no when you already have plans sends him the message that you have other engagements or commitments that are taking priority, at least at this time when he's asking. It also forces him to recognize your independence and that you're not just sitting by the phone waiting for his calls. Number four, be a little bit mysterious. That means that you don't have to share every detail of your daily activities with him. Now, I'm not encouraging you to keep secrets or to lie about anything. Just don't over explain every little thing that you're doing unless he asks. You want him to wonder and to develop intrigue. You see, sometimes people overshare because they want their partner to feel completely secure and usually that's a beautiful thing. But he has to earn back that position with you. So share bits and pieces of your life slowly as he makes you more and more a priority. Number five, give him something to miss. If you've been worried that something is wrong or that he has changed, it has an impact on all of your interactions with him. It impacts your conversations, your attitude, and your energy in general. He feels your disappointment and your frustration and the time you're spending together feels much heavier and maybe he even feels pressure. He feels that you're insecure about the relationship and that weighs on your time together. So instead of having fun when you're together, things feel heavy and disconnected. And this is the opposite of what you want him to feel. So you must figure out how to completely hide that disappointment and be that happy and confident person that he wants to be with the most. Every time you are together, you have to leave him wanting more, leave him craving more. And the only person that can satisfy that craving and that need is you. So you must create that dynamic, that feeling that he can't get anywhere else. Every time he thinks of you, he's going to be thinking about the fun things. He's going to associate you with everything fun. Not once, but every time. You want to be light, fun, easygoing, confident, and not disappointed or frustrated or insecure about where things are going. Number six, have the talk when the time is right. This is super important. If you've done these first steps correctly, your man will definitely recognize a change and will probably become concerned and might even object to these changes. And that's a good thing. You want him to recognize and remember that he has an amazing woman. So when he notices your changes, he's either going to step up and become more loving and more like he used to be, or he's going to bring up what he's noticed and want to have a conversation about it. In the bridge scene from the 2010 movie, Blue Valentine, watch as Dean begins questioning Cindy because of his apparent intuitiveness. I don't know what you want me to say. I want you to tell me what's going on, I wanna know. You got me feeling sick, you know? I'm very intuitive. I know there's something up. That is the time for you to be clear about your expectations for the relationship. So be authentic and honest with yourself and with him and tell him what you need from him. Share your standards and expectations with him. And if he values you and the relationship, he's going to do everything he can to meet and even exceed your expectations. Number seven, be willing to walk away. People change when they absolutely want to or when they absolutely have to. That's why he must know that he's got to change or he's going to lose you. Now, that's not something that you need to tell him. It needs to be demonstrated in your behavior. He needs to feel that you aren't willing to settle, that you aren't going to tolerate behaviors or actions of his that disappoint you. So he has to be afraid that he will lose you if he doesn't step up. And he will only experience this if he knows that you are willing and able to walk away from something that isn't right for you. Now, I know that many of you will be worried about doing these steps. 
you will worry that he will become upset or that he will lose interest. These steps feel risky. You're probably fearing that he won't care or that you will be sabotaging your relationship and you worry that he will become less interested or he will forget about you. Or perhaps you worry that these steps are manipulative and you're not being authentic. That's not necessarily the case. These steps are simply a behavioral shift. Now, you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't already overinvest and give too much. You see, these steps are simply giving you a slight shift. Call it a behavioral correction and it's rooted in being the best version of yourself. They're designed to help him recognize your value and to remember the person he fell in love with. Again, trust the process. These steps work and I can promise you this, if he loves you, if he values you, Doing these things will wake him up and he will remember and appreciate what he has. These steps will make him miss you and he will show you, but that will only happen if you overcome your fear of losing him and carefully follow these steps. You must believe that if you are meant to be together, these steps will make it happen. On the other hand, if you've really given these steps your best shot and he still doesn't make you a priority, well, then the relationship is probably not going to last. I'll see you in the next video. There you go. I hope you gained some very powerful insights on how to make a man miss you. And if you like this video, please help me to do the big three. First hit on the thumbs up button, then the subscribe to this channel button and the bell notification. Once again, thank you for staying to the end of this video. I hope to see you in my next video.